the apostles they said lord jesus please teach us how to pray because um john the baptist taught his disciples how to pray so jesus said uh, i'm going to give you just a template of how to pray so he gave them this template of how to pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen i love to take that lord's prayer in the kumbaya style of um, the lord's prayer but it looks as if some people are saying that it's a copyright breach that's why i've not been using it but i'm just going to sing kumbaya now anyway kumbaya lord kumbaya kumbaya lord kumbaya Kumbaya, Lord, Kumbaya. Oh, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone singing, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone singing, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone singing, Lord, Kumbaya. Oh Lord, Kumbaya. Someone cry, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone cry, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone cry, Lord, Kumbaya. Oh Lord, Kumbaya. Someone pray, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone pray, Lord, Kumbaya. Someone pray, Lord, Kumbaya. Oh, Lord, Kumbaya. Oh, Lord, Kumbaya. Oh, Lord, Kumbaya. Amen. Kumbaya simply means come back, Lord. Come back, Lord. We're expecting you. So in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus taught his disciples that pray this way. Our Father, who is in heaven, our Father, the whole of heaven is his throne and the whole of the earth is his footstool hallowed be your name blessed be your name to be worshipped to be praised is your name your kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven because his kingdom in heaven is with perfect precision lucifer who tried to cause disruption because he was he was wanting to be like god was thrown down with a third of the angels so in heaven everything is done according to the plan and the and the plans and purpose of God with precision. Obedience with precision is what happens in heaven. So we are asking that to be done in our lives, in our ministries, that we obey God because obedience is key. He said it's only those who obey him that loves him. If you know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation and you don't obey him, it's just a waste of time. Obedience is so key in our covenant work. Give us this day our daily bread. He said, don't ask for tomorrow's bread. Don't ask for next week's bread. Don't ask for next month's bread. Don't ask for next year's bread. You don't need to do all that worrying. God has your life in his hands. So give us today our daily bread. He did yesterday. He did last year. And he who is faithful, he's faithful. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. He said, I'll provide for you. So he said, just ask for your daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We must forgive those who trespass against us. Because like I said, when you hold anybody in unforgiveness, you are only doing yourself. You are not doing anybody else, but you are destroying your own, your own self. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever amen so we are going to go ahead and do praise and worship now and um 
Father, we thank you for this part that we have done. We ask that you come in all your power, in all your might, in all your excellency and do a brand new thing in our lives. All of us, we come expecting great and mighty things to be done in our lives. So, Father, we are holding on to you and we know that you are faithful. You are faithful to the core. So, please meet each and every one of us at the points of our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to expect mighty things. Help us to step up our faith, to, to, to rise up in our faith, not to be... Because you are a mighty God, mighty, mighty, mighty God, and you do all things mighty. Help us to expand our faith and to believe you, that you are who you say you are, and that you always do what you say you will do in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Tanner Rock of Ages, for in Jesus' precious, glorious, powerful name, we have prayed. Amen.